Hello, I'm Pastor Jackson from True Life Baptist Church in Edmonton. Today we want to consider the question, what is faith? The reason that we want to consider this question is because faith is an essential aspect of life. It's certainly an essential for salvation. It is certainly essential for the Christian walk. So we need to understand what is faith. In Galatians chapter 3 and verse number 11, we read, but that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God, it is evident, for the just shall live by faith. That makes it clear that in salvation, faith is essential. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7, we read this, for we walk by faith, not by sight. That tells us that faith is essential for the Christian. So faith isn't essential. We have to know what is faith. To begin with, let's look at the negative side and ask, what is faith not? What is not faith? Faith is not a mental assent or a mere acknowledgement of the facts or of the truth concerning the gospel, concerning the Christian life any of those things. In James chapter 2 and verse number 19, we find this, thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. What that tells us is that the devils, the very demons of hell, understand and have a mental assent that there is a God. They know that to be true, and yet the devils themselves will not be saved. Jesus said that hell is prepared for the devil and his angels. So that is the final destination for these devils who believe in God. So faith is not a mere mental assent. It's not merely acknowledging the fact of our sin, the fact of our need of a Savior. It's not merely acknowledging the facts laid out in the Word of God. It is much more than that. We also need to understand that faith is not feelings. Your feelings and my feelings change from day to day. Some days when we get up in the morning, we're happy and we're excited about what the day holds. Other days we get up in the morning, we are not happy. We are not looking forward to the day. Why the difference? Because of our own feelings. Our own feelings change from time to time. And there are people who will say, I feel saved today. Or they will come to us and say, I don't feel saved anymore. Our salvation, our Christian walk, is founded on faith. It is not founded on our feeling. That is like building on quicksand. Our faith must be founded on the Word of God instead. But another thing we do understand is that faith is not a creed or some statement of faith. So no one is saved or has a serious walk with God who says, I belong to a certain faith, or who says, I hold to a certain creed. That does not lead to salvation. That does not lead to a serious walk with God from day to day. Those things are not faith. But what is faith? Faith is essentially two things, believing God's word and acting on it. We have this laid out for us very clearly in the scripture. In Romans chapter 10 and verses 9 and 10, we find this, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. What Paul tells us in those two verses is that faith is more than that mental assent. It's more than just the acknowledgement that Jesus died for my sins. It's more than the acknowledgement that Jesus rose again. It is believing God's word and acting on it, following up on that belief with actually reaching out by calling on the Lord. As Romans chapter 10 and verse 13 tells us, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. 
As it concerns the Christian life, the book of James tells us this in James chapter 2 and verses 17 and 18. Even so faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. What James is talking about is the believer, the Christian, who has placed their faith in Christ. They believed God's word, and they acted on it by calling on the Lord. But now they need to walk by faith. So they believe God's word, and they act accordingly. They follow that. That's what real faith is. Faith is not saying, oh, I believe this, but not following through with that. Faith is saying, I believe what God says is in his word, and therefore I am going to act on what God says in his word. Let me ask you this. Has there been a time and place that you have placed your faith in Jesus Christ alone as your hope for salvation? You see, it's more than just acknowledging that Jesus was born in Bethlehem of a virgin. It's more than just acknowledging that Jesus died on a cross. It's more than even acknowledging that he rose again. Have you truly believed God's word about Christ's death, burial, and resurrection and acted on it by calling on God as your only hope for salvation through Christ? Has there been that time? If there's never been that time in your life today, you can trust the Lord Jesus Christ and you can call on him today and he will save your soul. As a Christian, have you been guilty of trusting your feelings or your acknowledgement of truth as the basis of your walk with God? Don't allow those things to blind you from your need to believe what God has said and to act on those things that God has told you in his word. You must have faith. You must exercise faith. What is faith? It is very simply believing God's word and acting on it. Thank you for taking the time to listen. If this has been a help to you, please consider liking, subscribing, and hitting the bell button. Also consider sharing this video with others so that they can also be helped with this Bible truth. If you have questions about what is faith or anything else in the scripture, please reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. You can find our contact information on our website. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.